Excel podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Power Pivot for the Data Analyst Chapter 9, Five or More Pivots. Okay, well, in the Power Pivot uh, drop down here, they offer the opportunity to create up to four charts, but what if you need more than that? So here I have a, a report, a couple of slicers driving four different charts, but I need to create some fifth or sixth report. Watch how easy this is to do. I'll go to Pivot Table, Pivot Table, and I say I want to create this on an existing worksheet. All right, and the existing worksheet will be down here below my data. Click the reference button, click OK, click OK. All right, and so we have a field list here. We build a, uh, a nice little report mail due division and revenue. So we now have that report, but I need that report to be hooked up to the existing slicers. Uh, so we're going to come here to Pivot Table Options. There's the Insert Slicer button. I don't want to use that button. I want to go to the drop down and say that I want to do Slicer Connections and say that this new Pivot Table is tied to these existing slicers. Click OK. And now I have a fifth Pivot Table that is controlled by these slicers. So as I choose from the slicers, the four original pivot tables update, but my fifth pivot table will update as well. A very, very cool way to go. So you're not really limited to four pivot tables or pivot charts at all. You can build as many as you want. However, anything beyond that original set, you need to hook those slicers up manually using the slicer connections. Well, I want to thank you for stopping by. See you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.